Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do Wussy's boyfriend reading. So we're gonna check out in this video what type of boyfriend he will be and I find it very funny because I am using the Cardcaptor Sakura special oracle cards. I, say, I call them special because they're not my cards, they're actually my sister's and I don't really use them because they're not mine but for Wusi, I always get that feeling that I should probably use them for some reason. So I started to call them the special order cards because it's always like, Hey, can I use your cards? And it's like, yeah, sure. I mean, she has never said no, but since they're, it's not in my little shell with all of my other cards, I cannot forget they exist. So I find it funny because this is the second second or third time that when I do a reading for Wusi, it's like, are you going to use those cards? And I'm like, just for you, man. Just for you. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump into his reading. Um, yeah, let's just see what type of boyfriend we'll see will be. <laughs> Special cards. Let's see. Now you can see how I struggle to shuffle these cards. <laughs> It took forever, but now we have the card. If my editor monkey leaves that, you guys will see the struggle I went through to get those cards. Now we have the cards right in front of us and let's see. You know what's funny? I always mention how I'm like watching it or I should watch the anime. So I thought I get familiarized with the cards and how, you know, how Sakura gets them and all, but I have not seen none of these cards. So the type of boyfriend that Wusi will be, we have the crow as his general energy, which is an air element, meaning that communication is going to be very important for him. It also shows that expression and speech will be very important as well. When I mean communication and expression like how he expresses himself that's kind of what i'm going for is going to be kind of different it doesn't have to be only about when you talk to someone it could definitely be as many of you may uh, already suspect seems like one of wussy's like languages is music so i wouldn't be surprised you know through any form of art he can also use that as a form of communication and this air element kind of talks about that as well so he can use his music to communicate he could use his um of course his singing voice he can just use um his lyrics he can use all of those forms of communication so that seems to be very important for him now i'm not saying that his partner needs to do those things i'm just saying that that's what he uses to communicate here we also have a pretty pretty balanced colors right here so it kind of shows that he is pretty aligned with himself he seems to be very like very stable let's put it that way because for those of you that have followed the channel for a while you kind of already know that i have like a special meaning for crow crow is one of the spiritual animals that i've had that to me has been a form of guidance through the unknown and I do feel that in this sense, it kind of shows like that shadow work that Wu Ting seems to be like very good at. I'm pretty sure that he, I don't know how conscious he is of it, but I'm pretty sure that he is not afraid of looking at that, uh, like the darker side of himself. And I think that that's something that he, he has to offer to his partner. And I guess what I'm trying to get at is that he's a type of boyfriend that will be very open and loving partner as well. Because I think that mo the ability that he has to be stable, to be aligned, and to not be afraid of looking at his shadow self, that allows him to be very happy and be very bright and open. Which gives him the ability to be more in tuned and connected to his partner because he has, in a way, nothing to hide. So there's a sense of purity with this crow. But I wanted to talk about Create and Twins. So those were the first cards that came out. But I wanted to mention how with twins, 
<laughs> I just said I've been saying twins over and over, and I thought of the Super Junior song. Uh, cause I think that's their debut song. It's so dated. If you look at it, you're you're gonna be like, damn, that's that. You can tell this is old. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm trying to get at is that with a twin, I saw a lot of duality or unity or or symbols of pairs because i have this i have like this i think that it's called a rainbow moonstone and then you have a black moonstone um and then i do have the two only heart shaped stones here and then we have this duality of like black and white so i do feel that pairs are very important for lucy also the other thing that i'm trying to get at with this is that with the twins well it says twins but with this card, I feel that not only are we talking about duality, but we're also talking about pairs. So, um, if I am correct, I believe Wusi did make it to the, uh, him having a twin flame. So, if that's the case, I do feel that his might be, his relationship may lean more towards that way. And, you know, for those people that don't really know how twin flames work, I do I made a whole video about this, and in that one, I kind of did mention that it's not exclusively romantic, but for for most people, that's how they see it. That's like when you venture a little bit more into the spirituality world, that's the new soulmates. <laughs> I find that funny because whatever. I've said enough. Uh, if you want to know more about that, just watch that video. I kind of nervously explain my view on that, but what what am I trying to get with Wussy? This is going to be so hard. I think that there's a lot of feelings that I'm trying to explain with his. And I have no no right way of saying it. I guess there's not enough words to say what I'm feeling. That could be one of the things that he has in his in his, in his mind. Um, usually with Wusu's readings, I'm, I'm remembering a lot with his. So I think that's very important with him. He might be very nostalgic and reminiscent and he may be of those people that love to think of the past over and over so he may remember some of his past lives or they're very influential into his present one but what i'm trying to say is that with him i usually see his love life in a very very good light but right now that we are technically doing a video where it's kind of like okay woozy what do you have to offer to your partner that's where i feel that he may be a little bit blocked not blocked in a bad way blocked as in like he doesn't even have to, to it's when you have yourself to offer to your partner it's difficult to explain your essence if you're going for that let me just put it that way and i feel that that's why i'm struggling with what's his reading right now um and it's big time because i feel that i'm not i don't have the words to bring into justice what i'm feeling for woozy let's just put it that way um but talking back to twin flames i do feel that with him he his he wants to have that type of partnership with whoever his partner is or he may be on his way of on working in because i i do feel that he may want a twin flame type of partnership or that could be what's destined for him in this lifetime but i also feel that if that's not the case it could just mean that he wants a very strong bond and partnership that goes way way deeper than the human eye can see and i feel that that's why he got the twin card okay now let me go back to normal <laughs> so we also have the create card so i do feel that a lot of the music that he creates whatever he composes all of that will contribute to the type of partnership that he wants and the type of partner he will be so we already know that he likes to compose i'm pretty sure that that kind of just shows that he will continue creating for his partner and that will be one of the forms that he will almost kind of like keep a diary for himself uh, i guess you could call it an audit audit auditory journal of sorts but with the twin, I, I'm getting a sense of balance. So he, he may want a partner that will balance him out. So either they're very similar, so they understand each other, or they're very different, and that's why they understand each other. Um, because they balance each other out. So what whatever the other one's lacking, the other one has it. Let's just put it that way. So there is balance. There's a lot of blues so that talks about the throat chakra. So again, communication is essential for him. Um... I actually don't remember when these cards come up, or maybe I just haven't rewatched those episodes. 
Um, let's jump onto the other one. Oh, let's jump into the other one. The other card is called Jump. This is one of the first cards that uh, Sakura gets in, in the anime. So I do feel that in this sense, he will be that type of partner that will be very energetic, very happy. And it's a low-key, sm- sneaky-ish or very soothing type of energy that Uzi has. He's a type of partner that will not directly help his partner. He's a type of person that will uh, do like little things for his partner. Like, oh, you need this? Let me bring this to you. Oh, you need that? Let me help you in this way and that way. So he's not like this very gr- grand Dios type of, I don't know, I know that's a word, but I don't know if I said it right. He's not this ty- the type of person that's very flamboyant and flashy. So no Leos over here, like not that type of Leo energy. He's more of a soothing, calm energy that is offering himself in a sense of actions and small, you know, like it's kind of like the small details and the small actions that he does speak volumes of what he has to offer. That's the type of thing that I'm getting with a jump card. But I also feel that he's very energetic, very happy, and he will be very obvious when he has a partner in that sense. So he will make it very obvious that he likes his partner. (laughs) And I think that um, his partner could be very um my head just went blank even if they're very oblivious even their his partner will know so i do feel that's kind of what i'm getting with the jump card very helpful especially the when he when his partner needs like some form of escapism or some form of rescue he'll be there the other card that we have is the move so we kind of already have two cards these two cards came together the move and jump so this tells me that there's this sense of like dynamic energy that Wusi has so Wusi is very good at creating change and creating movement um so i'm getting maybe dancing was one of the things that kind of came up with in like in my head but i'm getting like change and movement in the sense of energy so if his partner is stuck or stagnant he's very good at getting his partner out of that uh, I do feel that uh, Wuzi has this like saving grace type of energy, but that could be because he works so much with his shadow work and he is in alignment that he's able to understand when his partner is not in that position. We also have the Ace of Cups reverse, so I do feel that Wuzi is not in the uh, in the state or he's not in the position to be in a partnership. Because I don't think he has find he has found the person for him. Again, he hasn't found like that twin, someone that mirrors him in some way, shape, or form. Um, and again, he hasn't found a partnership that runs deep in the connection. So with this Ace of Cups, we usually see the energy of someone that has a new opportunity. Life has something to offer, and if this, if this was upright, it will be like a new love offer, right? Like, the divine and the universe is offering this opportunity to meet this person. Um, but with him, I'm getting that he has not found that person or that person has not come into his life yet. I did mention in his love life for his individual reading that it really feels like life wants to reward him. And it seems like love is one of the ways that life wants to reward him for like all the good that he has done, for you know doing all of his uh cleansing and karma cycles and baggage cleaning all of that right so it, i do feel that it's still in the works so Wuzi will not necessarily see that yet but i it could also be that he's so busy doing his own thing that that's why um he's keeping himself busy or he is so busy doing some other things that life is like okay he should concentrate on those we'll bring the person later um what is the other thing that i'm feeling with this ace of cups reverse I do feel that from Wussy's part, he does have a lot of like emotional, sentimental things to offer to his partner. So he will, he, he seems to be a very romantic partner and seems to be very caring. I just feel that with this card being reversed, he just kind of shows that he is either not in the mentality of finding a partner or he is, he just hasn't found a person he can express those energy that those emotions to or with the other card that we have is the eight of swords reverse when we see the eight of swords 
upright. We're talking about someone that is confused, is under the illusion that they're trapped. But with it in reverse, I think this kind of shows that Woozy is very, very good at figuring out the reality that he's in. And in a way, I thought diffusing, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, not deciphering. He's not solving a puzzle. I mean, his life could feel like a puzzle sometimes, but that's not it. Um, yeah, something about difference, but that's not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> you guys are probably like, are you talking to yourself? Kinda, sometimes. Uh, perceiving, interpreting, no, that's not the word. There's a specific word that I'm looking for that my brain right now is not, it's not processing. But what I'm gonna, trying to get at is that Wusi is very good at telling the difference between his mind playing tricks or his mind is like over like overthinking and over analyzing something in the reality of the situation he's in since he has done a lot of shadow work he's able to tell the difference between his ego and the reality that he's in he's able to separate and work within his mind and his heart so he can be practical and spiritual he can also be dreamy but also grounded so he is very aware of things he has a lot of self-awareness and that will definitely help his partnerships because what he has to offer is that he's very understanding and he's able to solve issues pretty well and very quickly so he has those things to offer to his partner. The other card that we have is the nine of pentacles reverse. So usually the nine of pentacles upright shows an individual that is independent and can financially support themselves. This is someone that has a very healthy relationship with money as well but with it being reversed i feel that there's something wrong with timing so what i'm getting at is that Lucy may feel like he's not financially independent yet or that he needs to still work his way through through feeling that independence that he's craving or he's aiming for so let's keep this in mind when we're talking about pentacles yes it could be money it could be career but I also feel that this could just be uh, his perception. I don't necessarily feel that he's not stable. I don't feel that it's he's not actually independent. I feel like he it, he hasn't reached that the point where he's satisfied. I do feel that Wusi is of those people that are very harsh on themselves. Hence why he can do his shadow work. Um, he doesn't like to avoid things like that. So he's working through that. Um, so I do feel that he is just not in the place he will want to be for a partnership so that's one of those things so this doesn't necessarily have to do with like oh he wants more money he wants to be super rich no he just feels like he doesn't have a stable maybe he feels like he doesn't have a stable income or maybe he feels like he doesn't have like the job that he wished for or something along those lines this is like a mental limitation not necessarily a physical one but let's talk about it being reversed. The fact that the Nine of Pentacles is reversed, I do feel that he will also, in return to his partner, he will be able to be with someone that doesn't feel independent. He doesn't mind being with someone that is, that may, like, oh, how should I put it? He, he's okay being with someone that needs to lean on him. He's okay supporting other people. Um, usually we see the Ten of pentacles we will also see that energy of someone that is so good with themselves and it's doing it's pretty well off on their own that now they can support somebody else economically but i do feel that with woozy it's all those things that since he's still emotionally working through his own things and he seems to be still focusing on his creative endeavors and moving forward he seems to still not he doesn't feel grounded enough to offer something to a partner so i do feel that he does have a lot of a lot to offer and there is a lot of potential here but i do feel that if he he could cur currently be working through some shadow work um but he may not feel satisfied in the position he's in right now there could be some change that he's going through because we have an ace so that's like a, the beginning of a new journey so he, there could be this sense of like there's going to be some sort of change, a new chapter in his life, or one that he sees coming for a while now that he can't help but feel like 
he's not ready for that change or he may feel that it's so hard to speak in his in his rito his video oh my god his rito um or he may feel okay he may feel that he doesn't have the tools for this change so he can come like completely stable anyways i'll leave that there now i don't know how to explain this to you guys but i did struggle a lot with what he's reading now i don't know if it's me which i mean it could be maybe i'm very distracted right now or he may be going through a change right now that makes it very difficult for his energy. Even though he is aligned within himself, he could already feel that there's a change coming for him and he may feel like he's not ready for that one. And if that's the case, I guess it will explain why he may not be ready for a partner because it definitely feels like he wants to be completely stable, not only within his material 3D world, but also be stable with his mind and his... I guess character we could call it that uh, his personality you know when you are not in a good mental space or a good emotional space you tend to not be ready to even be with other people so I do feel that that's kind of where he's at he could feel like there's a new beginning in the horizon and he's just not ready for it I don't think he's necessarily persistent it I think he's just simply in a stage where he doesn't know what the results of that change will be and I don't know if he wants to embark on that journey with a partner. So I think that's why he prefers to be on his own right now. Continue being in that solitude and continue doing his shadow work to make sure that nothing... You know those, you know those times when you're so... You have worked so much on yourself and you're, you've done so much for yourself that you can handle all the changes going around in your environment? I feel that's the state that he wants to be in before he has a partner. And if that's the case, then I guess he still has a lot of work to do. But yeah, I will leave that there. I hope that you guys found this fun or entertaining or learned something from it. I mean, some of you could be going through this and that could be this could be very helpful. Now, I know this video is kind of... I don't know how long the video is going to go. Because it took me forever to shuffle the cards and it also took me for... Like, I felt like I had to be very cautious with the words I was saying. Not because I was going to say something wrong, but because I just didn't have the words to express what I was feeling. Because I felt all... The, ener the energy kind of just go kind of like if it locked itself and it all kind of balled up in a way that I was trying to untangle little by little um, I do feel that this could have been a question that Wusi's energy is m more along the lines of I've never really thought what I had to offer you know when you want to have a partner you also have to think not only the qualities you want in a partner but you also have to think of what qualities you have to offer to someone but I digress I've talked enough I've said enough I'll leave that there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. And I'll see you on the next one, whatever that is. However that is. And bye.